This first dome, and of course there have been two domes atop the Capitol, this first dome by Charles Bullfinch, architect of the Capitol at the time as well, was made of wood and copper. And reading the history, the Congress was so concerned about the number of very significant fires in the Capitol building at the time and really wanted to get rid of that potential fire hazard. That's one of the reasons that led to this new cast iron and fireproof dome. We've awarded a construction contract. We did that in October of this year and work is commencing. Like any project, as you might do in your home, it's the planning and preparation that probably takes as long as the work itself. As you look across the rotunda, you can see evidence of some water leaks that have occurred over time. The, the, the streaking below the, the lowest band of ornamentation on the coffered dome, some of the staining on the sides of the pilasters. If you look down, you'll see evidence on top of the balustrade below of past water intrusions. In, in our, our goal here is to preserve as much of the original material as possible. And that's why the lock and stitch technique that we're using to stitch the original pieces back together is so important to our restoration efforts because we want to save as much of the historic artifact as we can. If you look at the top plate, there are a series of through bolts that hold the railing together. And those bolts go through the balusters all the way down to a base plate. As rust has developed and this railing has been pushed up by the pressure of the rust, the top plate has cracked. And that's relieving the stress that's in the ironwork. Um, but what it also does then is compromise the structural integrity of that particular piece. 